Segment two, Northtown Neighborhood News Magazine. Thank you so much, Commander Ratner. Wanted to show you, we forgot to show this on the air, that um, there are goodies, if our CAPS person actually shows up, that they give out on National Night Out, and things like this water bottle, and um, this handy little pack, which actually serves as a cooler also on nice hot days. So um, if the person shows up, and uh, we might have some goodies and things like that, which would be very nice. In the meantime, speaking of National and not somebody who's been a very cooperative person with the, not just the police, but the whole neighborhood in general, um, the executive director of the Westridge Chamber of Commerce and the person who brought us the magnificent Tournament of Heroes softball game, which once again was a rousing success, Amy Zander. Hi. How you doing, Amy? Good. Uh, that was a great game, by the way, this it year. Was. It really was. It was really fun. We had a great turnout, and uh, we're hoping to get bigger and better every year. And, yeah, it was a lot of crowd, a lot of excitement, and uh, fire department's up to zip. I didn't mention that with Commander yeah, Ratner. Yeah, uh, <laughs> they are uh, doing very well. No question. Uh, but uh, so there's a lot of changes happening. I mean, there's a lot of things happening with the business community yes, right now. Yes, lots, lots of things going on, lots of changes, lots of new development coming in, lots of new businesses coming in. Um, our special service area on Devon Avenue is uh, underway and doing pretty well. So we Now, does that mean that we might actually have a clean street soon? <laughs> well, it's getting there. Um, we actually, the SSA doesn't get funding until November. Yeah. But in the interim right now, we've actually, the Chamber has taken on to hiring a group to clean our streets. So we have a crew out there um, six days a week that it's out there cleaning the streets right now, um, sweeping and kind of getting everything together. So it's they've been doing a good job. If you look, walk down Devon right now, it's looking pretty good. So that sounds good. I've walked down it a little bit, and I've noticed less purple from the pigeons. <laughs> yeah, that, that's our next job. And when we get to November, hopefully we'll get rid of those birds. No, that'll be nice. And uh, if the people would, are the people stopping with all those new street signs that you had put up at the Alderman? Are there, yes. Are, you know, don't feed the pigeons. Are people not feeding the pigeons? or? Um, I don't know. Well, in some places, yes, I think it's helping. At least the signs are there to let people know. I don't know if people were aware of it, that there is a significant uh, monetary fine if you feed the pigeons. So. Well, yeah, I've definitely seen those signs, and I do see a lot less purple, but that has to do with the mulberry season also. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So things are changing. It's getting really, it's, Devon's really making some improvements. We're really happy about it. No, oh, that'll be good. And uh, do you, are you a member of the uh, special services area? Um, I am actually going to be the project manager, so I will be running as Coinciding with my uh, executive director duties, I will be the project manager for the special service area. So. Okay, and what kind of stuff? I mean, so so you hired a street. We have a cleaning crew right now that's out there. Um, going forward, once November comes and we get our our funding, um, you can expect to see we're going to have a crew that goes out there and gets rid of all the weeds. There's so many weeds that are growing in between the sidewalk walk cracks, things like that. We're going to power wash, get rid of all the gum and the stains that are on the sidewalks, planting flowers. Just basically trying to make it a little bit prettier. Um, it's a 10-year SSA, so we can do lots of different things over the next 10 years. Um, facade rebate programs, the city no longer does that, so that's something we can do internally just for the special service area on Devon. So there's lots of great things that we can no, do. That'll be nice. But uh, cleaning and flowering, is the, those are the main things that will happen in the next year. Yeah, actually, uh, the cracks of my sidewalk, Sunny can testify to this. Um, I've actually got cilantro growing in my sidewalk. Oh, hey, well, back. that'd be better than the weeds <laughs> we've got on Devon. So, yeah, tree mold, um, tree pits. The tree pits are not looking so good these days. Um, I had heard that there were metal tree grates at one time years and years ago. Oh, I remember that. But people yeah. had stolen them for metal. Really? That's what I was told. So um, we're thinking mulch to yeah. not spend the money on grates now. If we're here, I'm thinking maybe mulch. I don't know. But things like that, just to make it look a little bit nicer um, and then hopefully... You know, that'll be a, a sign of things to come and new things that'll be happening. Well, a clean street would be nice and yep. something that um, I haven't seen in decades around here. It's been a long time. <laughs> uh, the, actually, we have some great um, members of the chamber and the SSA that have actually gone out, and along with streets and sanitation, and gone and cleaned out around the garbage cans on Devon. There's um, public garbage cans that hadn't been cleaned out in years, the underneath and inside where the tubing is. And they take it upon themselves. Streets and Sand was out there, and now they're going to come by and power wash all of that garbage off of the cans. So... It's good, good business. It looks good. No, it sounds good. Uh, now you've got a you've got a number of things going. You've got a golf outing, I know, coming yep, up. Yeah, our golf outing is coming up on August sixteenth. We're doing it with three other chambers of commerce, so it's a big event. Um, over a hundred golfers. Uh, we're working with Portage Park, Jefferson Park, and Gladstone Park chambers, um, along with our our members. So it's going to be a big turnout. It's at Maple Meadows Golf Course um, out in Wooddale, Illinois, just west of O'Hare. Sounds good. And um, you know, not to mention. Uh, now, how many? How long have you been? Uh, how long have you been the executive director? 
It just was two years. This past week, it was two years. Mazel tov. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> Now, uh, what should we call it? You're, you're also, you know, you've been involved more with the police stuff also, National Night Out. Do you have, are you uh, getting to, well, first of all, I know that you changed your own plans to make sure it wouldn't conflict with. Yes, uh, we normally do a first Tuesday event, a networking event every first Tuesday. We did change it this month so that we won't coincide. We want people to go to the National Night Out instead of coming to our networking event just because we feel like National Night Out is a really important thing for CAPS. And no, the no businesses question. need to get involved and, and they're maybe not as involved as they should be. So we're hoping this will kind of push them towards um, getting out there instead of, you know, they can network there with the residents. Right. Now, National Night Out is this Tuesday, so uh, we want to make sure everybody gets out there. And uh, I know that you're actually in uh, might be 2412 where, yes. where the office is at the, mm -hmm. at the Republic Bank building. And we're going to have a gathering somewhere on the 65, 66, 6700 blocks of Washtenaw. Great. Of citizens, you know, like, because there's a slightly rougher, not, not really that much of a criminal element, but a slightly rougher element. Uh, hanging out around the school and all that, and yeah. uh, Commander Ratner instituted some walking patrols. That's great. Uh, which is really nice to see uh, to try to calm down the area, and the, and the, res the residents by us, too, have been wonderful about um, getting participating in the camps and letting people know about it. That's great. So um, that's going to be good. Now, what are, what are some of the other things you got cooking over at the chamber? Um, the golf outing, that's the main thing. Yeah. Uh, so definitely people can still sign up to golf. Now, you've got interested. a monthly newsletter? Monthly newsletter that goes out um, email, and it's on our, available on our website as well. So people can check it out on the web or they can sign up. And your up. website is? It's www.westridgechamber.org. And you can sign up there to um, get our newsletter, or um, you can read it there online as well. Right, um, and, and we do get it. And by the way, you'll find um, a link to our website for the yep. TV show on your thing. And by the way, you'll also find a link on our website to the chamber. Yes, <laughs> which is very good. So, no, it definitely works out when, when people do cooperate. Yeah, definitely. Um, are there special things happening fall? Um, coming up in the fall, we'll be continuing with our first Tuesdays events, which are um, we're encouraging residents as well as businesses to come out to these events now because it's really a great way for people to get to find out about what new businesses have opened up in the neighborhood and also um, get, the re get the businesses involved with the residents. They need them to come in and be customers. So we're really trying to encourage that crossover now um, as a chamber, you know, instead of just being businesses, we really want businesses and residents to kind of come together. So those are the first Tuesday every month. It's a different location every time. Those will be going through the fall into the winter. Um, let's see, we also have our ultimate networking event. Um, it's Chamber of Commerce week, the third week in September. So we do um, a huge networking event with all the chambers on the north side of, Sh of Chicago. Wow. And that's going to be at the Irish American Heritage Center um, on Thursday, September 20th. It's 4626th North Max. That used to be me. Oh, wow. College. All right. That's pretty when good. I, was, I went to junior college when it was made. Oh, all right. Was, so I right. uh, got my associates in journalism. It's a big networking <laughs> event. We've got uh, about 250 people mm -hmm. that come out from all over the city for that event. So yeah. we really encourage people, both residents and businesses, to come out. We get a sampling of food. Every chamber brings um, food from the restaurants in their neighborhood. So we get a good uh, sampling of all the different kinds of food we have in the different neighborhoods. So it's a good time. So that's our big fall event that will be coming up in September. No, it sounds good. In the meantime, I want to thank you very much, Amy Zander, the Executive Director of the Westridge Chamber of Commerce. And uh, if people want to contact the Chamber, they call? They can call 773-743-6022, or you can check out our website, westridgechamber.org. Westridgechamber.org. And at this point, I want to thank everybody for joining us today on the Northtown Neighborhood Magazine, News Magazine. Thanks so much to my entire technical crew, Sunny Hirsch. Uh, Tuesday's National Night Out. Check our, the website at caps24.org or our website, um, ntnm.org. Thanks so much, everybody. Bye-bye.